Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Matt Geyer. I'm the co-executive director of the Catalog for Philanthropy. Uh, we're really excited today uh, that it's Give Local Together, uh, part of uh, Giving Tuesday Now. We're the official community partner in the D.C. region for Giving Tuesday Now, a global day of generosity in response to COVID-19. Uh, what really makes us most excited are the 160-plus local nonprofits participating in our campaign, uh, which is why we do what we do, and uh, why we're really excited to kind of raise attention and awareness of their work uh, to y'all. Uh, so today we're excited to take just a couple minutes uh, to talk to Carolyn about the work they're doing uh, and I'll let her introduce herself and her organization. Hi everyone, I'm Carolyn Hoffman. I'm the Executive Director of Port Watch Montgomery. We are based in Montgomery County, Maryland, and we focus on uh, the courthouses and so we basically go in and collect data on domestic violence cases, both um, protective orders and criminal cases, and we use that data to advocate for safer and more respectful courthouses for domestic violence victims in Maryland. Great, thank you. And and how, how has COVID-19 impacted your work and what, what, what does the day-to-day -day look like for you all right now? Yeah, well, especially since the bulk of our programming is sitting and collecting data in court. In Maryland right now, Governor Hogan fortunately is taking um, all of the, the safety of our residents really, really seriously. So we um, aren't actually able to be in the courthouses at this time, but that hasn't stopped us. We are really plugging away at the data that we have now, being able to have some time to enter that data and really analyze that data. Uh, last week, we reported um, our, um, our, we published our report for 2020, um, and it was basically just an outline and um, analysis of 911 calls and how they relate to domestic violence and kind of learning more about that process and maybe information that we don't know about. So um, all of that is on our website right now. And we've also, since we, you know, our volunteers usually are sitting in court and they're not able to now, they're all very active in their communities and they're very passionate about supporting domestic violence victims. So we've teamed up with the Family Justice Center in Montgomery County to raise awareness on the resources that are available. And so our volunteers have been really diligently calling local businesses like pharmacies and grocery stores, as well as uh, food delivery services to provide little stickers and pamphlets on what resources are available during COVID-19 and how to access domestic violence resources with some also kind of warning signs for people to look out for with neighbors and friends and family. Great, and such important work both now and also as we enter into the recovery from COVID-19, because we know, unfortunately, domestic violence rates are up in a lot of parts of the country, including here in D.C. So, um, you know, we've already had a, a really successful campaign so far and only halfway through the day, a little over halfway. Uh, over 2,000 donors have already given today to the Give Local Together campaign. Uh, so what, what does it mean to you and kind of what, what do you want to say to those folks who have already given and hopefully, uh, if not, will be giving soon today? Yes, we're so grateful for today, for the catalog, and for our, our donors that have been supporting us so diligently throughout the day. Um, we have seen, you know, great, great lengths of our community to really support the work that we're doing. Um, and I think everybody at this point, too, is really interested in raising awareness on, on the issue of domestic violence and how staying home isn't always safe for domestic violence survivors. So it kind of flips that whole public safety and public health perspective on a different angle and a different perspective. Um, and with that too, we, um, we are really, really excited to be able to still support our, our community and our survivors in just some way while we kind of all adjust to a new normal, which hopefully will eventually go back to being able to do really good, meaningful work. Great. Thank you so much for taking some time to be with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you.